What's up, you guys? Today, I'm going to come at you with a video that I posted in the community tab about two Hispanic men having a conversation about the current status of the black community, as well as, of course, the black men in that community. And of course, I was accused of falsifying the the comments. So I'm going to show you the video of what even sparked that conversation between them. We'll look at the original comment that kicked it off. And then you guys can let me know what you think below in the comments. So to get started, this is the initial video that kicked off that video response. I find it hilarious that black American women are so massively triggered by the passport bros. <laughs> yeah, of course black American women are triggered by the passport bros. There is nothing wrong with black American men going overseas to get a wife. The thing is that along the way, y'all be talking shit and mopping the floor with black American women and saying that it is their fault that y'all have to go overseas to get a wife. You see, you blaming black American women for things that are men's faults. For example, in your video, you say that black American women have the highest rate of having fatherless child. And who fault is that, my man? You could blame her for being with the wrong guy. You could blame her for having a child before getting married. But that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. Start taking responsibility for your own eyes. So as you can see, the guy in the video was Dominican and he was speaking about he was speaking out against the degeneracy of the black men and how black men are always blaming the women in the community versus taking accountability. So that is what sparked this comment section in the first place. So now we're going to look at some of the comments from the thread of why this all kicked off. So this was the initial comment that started this thread. The guy simply stated, that is why I dislike black American men trying to marry into Hispanic. I don't want their drama and BS heard in my community. So that was the initial comment that was made that started the 500 comments that came after it. But I'm not going to go through all 500 comments, but I am going to spend some time diving into the exchange between the black man who hopped underneath that comment thread and got offended and, de and decided to start defending himself and the degenerate black men in the black community. Now, for the purpose of time, I'm only going to read some of the rebuttals that the Hispanic guy was making towards the black guy. But based off his responses, you can pretty much tell what the black guy was saying, which was actually some of the lame comebacks that they try to use with us that we don't go for. And the Hispanic guy wasn't going for it either. He definitely held his own during this conversation. First, he says, check myself why. Which group always proudly says we're the worst off? Our women are independent and don't need no man. Stop it. Black dudes be like, we kings, we gods, we the blueprint, only to run away from their women. How about you focus on that problem and not run to other groups of color because y'all got relationship issues? So he was basically calling him out on how instead of black men being men, and sticking within their own community to fix the damage that they caused due to not taking accountability and always blaming women. Now they're trying to bring their degenerate lack of masculine behaviors into the Hispanic community, into the Asian community and other communities. And the men are standing up and checking them on it. So then he came back with the death blow. He says 70% of black women are single. 70% of black kids born out of marriage. The only group that says our men ain't shit are black women. Please go touch grass. And I said, damn, he right. He had a point there. Black women are typically the only racial group saying that they men ain't shit. Because other men of other demographics tend to take accountability and they're able to provide for their children and they still believe in marriage because they were raised to be husbands. Imagine that. So he's basically now beating him with his own stats because the black guy tried to say that the stats were fabricated and made up, which is what they always say when somebody is holding them accountable. 
So the Hispanic guy comes back with, I mean, NPR, NBC News, universities and nonprofits all have at it. Quit being lazy and type single black women percentage. Asian American women aren't yelling Asian men ain't shit. But you can bet your ass that any non-white person knows and had heard the phrase niggas ain't shit. Who claimed perfection in the first fucking place? You don't like black struggles being presented to you now, do you? So I love the fact that this guy was simply calling him out on all of his bullshit because they always try to use statistics to berate black women. But this Hispanic guy was using the exact same statistics that black men use to point out that black women ain't shit to flip it around on him and show that black men ain't shit because other men and other cultures know that if you have a, a, a pandemic of single mothers or if you have a, a high a rate of non-married women that it is the men in the community that is the cause of that and not the fucking women so of course the black guy just told him that he was jealous because he's running through his women and so the hispanic guy comes back and said yes there's stuff already there but why make it worse with doing um with people doing worse in those areas we already got white supremacy to deal with don't need your shit too your little thing only revolves around getting girls i mean you do the same thing the same shit with white dudes go for the sex and jealousy angle you have no data so you rely on goofy shit like your whole thing is on sexualizing and fetishizing just like white people taught you with racism no data no reasoning nothing then he goes on to say you're the one endorsing a passport to exploit poor women of color you guys, I love how these men and these other communities can see straight through these black men's bullshit and they're standing up to protect their women from it. So then the black guy comes in and says, that's why they like us talking about Hispanic women. Let's not talk about white supremacy, because if they didn't call you spick, you'd be right here with them. Bro, I lost brain cells reading that. It's hard to decipher an argument when you don't make sense. Then a Hispanic guy comes in with the smackdown once again and says, you need to actually have brain cells to lose them. Don't make sense. Percentages are too much for you to handle. Here's another. Blacks have the highest divorce rates in the U.S., according to divorce.com. So then the black guy says, so you sit down and research people relationships. Is that what you do for a living? It makes sense why you so mad. Get a life. Now, keep in mind, black American men constantly do this to black women is research us so that they can attempt to drag us through the mud and make us look bad. So the Hispanic guy flips his own shit on over onto him and says, how is that for an argument? Highest divorce rate, 70% bastard kids, 70% single women, highest STD rate, niggas ain't shit, black women. And you're confused over what I said. You're just hurt that you have zero data to come back with. So what I personally enjoyed about this conversation and this exchange between the Hispanic guy and the black guy is that we all know that black men have been notorious for regurgitating stats to black women to make us feel like shit, to make us look like we ain't shit and to make us look like we are undesirable and unworthy of love. So the fact that this Hispanic guy knew all of the black people's stats and was using it on the black guy before he got a chance to use it out. Because keep in mind, this only works on black women because it affects us. It does not affect the Hispanic guy. So this black dude had absolutely zero comebacks for the fact that his fucking community is in shambles. And the Hispanic guy was able to validify why he does not want him in his community running through his women and bringing his degenerate behaviors into the Hispanic community. So then the only rebuttal that the black guy could come back with at this point is, bro, you talking about data like it's the Bible. Data will always seem more favorable for the majority. It's simple math. So now data doesn't matter because they can't use it to uh, dehumanize black women. And so then he says, I know you wish you could assimilate into white supremacy, but you too dark for them, my friend. This is the common tactic that black men use is accusing people of wanting to be white anytime they don't have a better comeback. So the 
Hispanic guy says, it's simple math. Then why aren't you using math to support whatever non-existent points you're making? It's so simple after all, right? You can't even research done for you. Google search terms, goofy. So he's letting his ass have it. So the Hispanic, so the black guy says, and stats always can be manipulated, but what you see in real life can't. So now stats can be manipulated and it's not the Holy Grail, but when they're coming at black women, stats are facts and it's facts over feelings. So the Hispanic guy basically comes back and says, you're the one flexing on interracial shit like your life depends on it, not me. So then the black guy reiterates, so you agree stats and numbers are ineffective then. So he's trying that same manipulative uh, bullshit that they always try to use on black women. And he just wasn't making it happen. Now, here's the best part. The Hispanic guy says, so these statisticians who have a background in mathematics and a master's degree are buffoons. Can't make this shit up. He even hits him with the fucking Kevin Samuels line of can't make this shit up. I fucking love this guy. <laughs> So the best the black guy could do at that point is say, looks like I have to explain simple math to you. When you're the minority, your result will always be higher. But the Hispanic guy was prepared for the bullshit. He said could be fabricated. NPR, Politic Fact, CDC, NBC, universities, nonprofits, all fabricated. Stop embarrassing yourself. Your numbers dwarf those of Asians, though their population is half the block population size. So the Hispanic guy wasn't falling for any of his bullshit. And he pointed out the fact that even though Asians in the U.S. have a smaller population than black people in the U.S., it's like their numbers are way less degenerate than ours. And again, he shifts that finger pointing right back towards black men. So the black guy flips the conversation and deflects and moves it back over to the Hispanic guy wanting to be white. And the Hispanic guy once again came in with the smackdown saying nothing changes. Bottom line is passport dudes, especially black Americans, are running away like cowards. They talk big shit like you to me only to be like, hey, Thailand, will y'all marry us? Ninja, please. And so the black guy says, I never called you a sellout. I know you want to be one of them, which is so lame. Black guy then says, I never called you a sellout. I know you wanted to be one of them. And the Hispanic guy says, then you want to get butt hurt over rejection. Y'all ain't entitled to shit. Monetary reparations from the U.S.? Sure. But nothing else from people of color, not even a wife, because you got no game. And so then the black guy says, bottom line is men who can afford it can go anywhere they want to find a wife. It's extremely weird that other men want to police that. Now, the thing that I find weird about when men talk about other men wanting to police the passport bros is the fact that passport bros are the main ones policing what women who they claim to not want are doing with our vaginas. So you swear you don't want black women, but you're always complaining about our body counts or us being ran through, us being three or four. So if you don't care about us, then why are you so preoccupied with trying to police us, but then you don't want another man policing you? So then Poppy comes back with, it's extremely weird that if you're such a manly man that attracts any vagina on earth, then you should not have a problem with American black women or rebuilding your community like a man. When I tell you this guy was laying the smack down, I was like, damn. So the only thing left for the black guy to say was, I'm glad that American black men are exploring their options. I think you're a jealous man who doesn't even get picked in his own community. Sad. So he comes back again with the death blow. Poppy says, do you know what ethnic cleansing is? So then a black guy says, wow, it's all coming out now. I knew you wanted to be a white supremacist. They see you as a, as a spick too, bro. And he just wasn't letting, he would not get his foot off this guy's neck. He said, how can you talk about not being picked in your own community and yet feel it's needed to travel abroad to get picked? You make zero sense. This, it, he completely annihilated this dude. And I was like there for all of it. Like I'm here for all of these types of conversations. 
And the black guy just did not learn. He says, how can you get rejected if you choosing to leave? And Poppy comes back with is 70% of black women are single who aren't they picking to lead them. See how your posts always backfire on you with logic. <laughs> oh my so God. Per I was usual, the black guy really had no choice, thing. but to say that the Hispanic guy is insecure. There's more men to compete with, but that just means you need to work on yourself, son. No, bro, you on here getting your ass handed to you and your best comeback is calling this man insecure. I love to see it. Okay, listen, so I'm going to stop the video right here. Let me know if you guys uh, want to see part two below in the comments. And definitely let me know what your thoughts are of this guy completely annihilating this black passport, bro. Because they don't understand how goofy they sound until somebody uses their own stats and their own tactics against them so i really enjoyed the conversation it was plenty more comments it's kind of lengthy and to avoid uploading a two hour long video let me know if you guys want me to do a part two below down in the chat and these are my other platforms where you can follow me and then see more great content like this and as always thank you for watching be sure to like and share this post in various places